Okay, here's some more compound interest problems, and this is number three. It says Lauren invested $6,700 at an interest rate of 6.25% to be compounded monthly. How much will Lauren's investment be worth in nine years? So we I take our find out our, what our data is. So my principal will be 6700 My rate will be 0 0.0. Remember, we moved the decimal point two places to the left to change from percentages to decimals. So 0 0.0625, that's going to be my rate. Now, it's compounded monthly. How many months are there in a year? 12. So it's going to be compounded 12 times. And, oh, the number of years is, where did I get 11? It must be 9. Sorry about that. 9 years. Must have looked at that. Okay. So here's my formula, and then I'll put my data into the formula, then we'll use our calculators. So my uh, principal is 6,700. My rate is 0 0.0625. N is going to be 12, and that's going to be 12 times 9. Now, when I put this in the calculator, again, I've got to keep extra parentheses around this, so I'll write 6,700 parentheses, 1 plus, and then I'll put a parentheses around the fraction, 0 0.0625, goes on the top, and divided by 12, a parentheses for the fraction, and a parentheses for this whole area, and then I'm going to have caret, and my power will be that's 12 times 9, 108. So that's how my calculator will do it. Okay, so we'll do it over here. I think at this angle you can see everything, so I can just go from the top. Turn it on. And I've got 6,700. Times parentheses, my 1 plus parentheses, 0 0.0625, divided by 12, parentheses around that, and then the second parentheses for the power, and that's going to be caret, and we said that was going to be 108, right? Okay, 12 times 9 is 108. That means it's going to be compounded 108 times. It's going to be 12 times every year for nine years. So it's going to be compounded 108 times. Press enter. And we're going to end up with $11,741 and 70, about 71 cents. All right. I'll just transfer this over here. So the amount equals... $11,741.71. Okay. And the last compound interest problem, we've got a depreciation we'll do in a moment, but this is the last compound interest. Okay, Berea invested $8,600 at an interest rate of 3.75% to be compounded daily. How much will Maria's investment be worth in 12 years. All right, so if we look at our data, let's get this up a little bit higher here. Oops, there we go. If we look at our data here, um, no, it's not gonna help too much, but my principal was $8,600. My interest rate, 3.75. So I moved my decimal point two places to the left, so it would be 0 0.0375. So there's my rate. Okay. And my N will be 365 because there's 365 days in a year. Okay. And um, the time will be 12 years. Okay, so we've got a bit going on there. So let's take a look at this. So we'll just put our data in. So I got 8,600. And then I've got 
Okay? Just a second, and I've got point zero three seven five, and my n is going to be 365. And then I've got another 365 here times 12. So 12 times 365. I won't be able to do that in my head. I'd have to multiply that out. So how am I going to put that in my calculator? Well, I'm going to have 8600, parentheses 1, plus parentheses, point zero three seven five parentheses 365, parentheses, parentheses, and I've got my caret. And then so I don't do these out of order, I'm going to put a parentheses around this. I'm going to have 365 times 12 like this. So when you're using your calculators, parentheses are just, always play it safe, use more than less. It's going to pay off. All right, so let's put this in the calculator and see what we've got. All right, I think that's fairly clear, so let me clear this. We've got 8,600. And parentheses, one plus parentheses, point zero three seven five divided by 365, parentheses, around the fraction, parentheses around the one plus the fraction, and caret, then I'll put a parentheses around, 365 times 12. So that's gonna make sure that we raise this inside the parentheses to this power. Press enter, and there's how much you've got. So after 12 years, you have $13,487.17. So we'll just transfer that, transfer that over. So the amount equals $13,487.17. All right. So that's pretty much the standard type of compounding we've got. We usually have either annually, quarterly, monthly, or daily. Sometimes you have semi-annually, which is twice a month. I'm sorry, twice a year. So n would be two. Okay. So I hope that all makes sense.